Cell phone video shows the uproar brewing within Thornwood High School as students march through the halls Wednesday morning demanding answers. We just started chanting free free us like we don't deserve to be in this school. Two weeks after administrators from the South Holland School claimed they took action to eradicate a bed bug infestation inside parts of the sprawling campus. Thornwood junior Carl Boyd walked in today's protest and says students are still witnessing bed bugs inside the facility. If they see that the kids are protesting like this has never happened before, then they should want then they should do something. A student led petition that's already garnered over 1000 signatures is also circulating online, calling out District 205 leadership. That petition reads in part, quote, we are calling upon the school administration and local authorities to take immediate action by closing down the school until there is concrete evidence of complete eradication of these pests. Some Thornwood High School parents even went so far as to pull their students from school indefinitely until they say more is done to effectively eradicate the bed bugs. I'm getting daily pictures of um, students that are at the school that are taking pictures of bed bugs and such. This has the potential to be an outbreak throughout the whole community. District 205 Superintendent Dr. Nathaniel Cunningham spoke to media mm -hmm. during an afternoon news conference, claiming there is presently no infestation and that appropriate actions have been taken. We have taken extensive measures to tackle the situation head on. We have sought the assistance of our pest maintenance professionals, to bring additional focus to this problem. District 205 leaders tell us those bed bugs were previously brought in by just a few students. They also added that another bed bug remediation is happening this weekend inside Thornwood High School. We're in South Holland. I'm Christian Picos, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC 7 Chicago Eyewitness News.